this video and then let's talk about it. Hating for love. Is that desperate or is that a practical investment? Investment. Why do you think so? I I'm sorry to say it, but sometimes I feel like a lot of our title or status of being unmarried has to do with our location. Your chances are lower in a lot of these metro metropolitan cities. Although there's a lot more people, a lot of the times they're more career focused than they are family focused. Because you were in DC for a little while. Correct. Yeah. I heard you talking about how you felt like the uh, DC was just a swamp for dating. Correct. And you also <laughs> likened it to Atlanta when it comes to dating. Yes. Yes. <laughs> just, I, I knew in my spirit, my husband was not there. I could tell not only through my own experiences, but through the experiences of the women that I know that live in Washington, D.C., mm. a lot of them are unmarried. I feel like a lot of men, they love D.C. because they know that good pickings for them. Oh, it is great pickings. Oh, and yeah. Atlanta is the same Oh, way. Atlanta is the same exact way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so interesting that you said not <laughs> only for your own experiences, but look around, look at your look friends. Around. That just makes sense to me. Because right. at some point, it's not about you. It's about your environment. Because your environment does impact a lot of your day to day to life. And why wouldn't it impact your dating life? Definitely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Whatever she just said. So what's up? Let's get into it. Ladies, let's start with Ash. Ash, would you relocate to find your man? No. 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 Hmm. Interesting. Not. If my man was if I already had a man, then he moved in, I moved there, yes. But like just in hopes to find something? No. But then also disclaimer, I move around a lot, so I don't know. You're military, so it's different with you. But I don't think I would just with the sole idea of just going to find a man, like maybe you chasing a career or different different goals, but just to go to a random place to be like, oh, I think the men in Missouri are great, you know? Nah. <laughs> so the so the question the question would be then, let's say you are living in your town, wherever you're at right now, and it's just dry. You you dated, you know, you dated. It's just nothing, no good results. You want to be a wife though. Right? How long would it take for you to become that wife if you sat in the same place getting the same results over and over and over again? Is it worth it? Let's say you had a homegirl that lived in Houston now. And she's like, girl, I don't know about Houston, but let's just say she's like, girl, the men in Houston, they want to be husbands. Would you choose to leave for that man? So, um, Carrie, how do you feel about that? No. I'm not, oh. I'm not moving to be with or find a man unless I was God led to do so. And also too, it's like, I don't think location matters as much as you doing your work to make sure that you are attracting what you need, what you want and something positive. So you can be in the best location you can be in the worst location, but it's really all about, have I done my shadow work, my self work, and am I willing and able and ready to be in a committed union as well as when you don't do your work, you're going to a lot of times attract what you are anyway. So if he don't tell me to go, I'm staying. And he being the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Mm. <laughs> Okay, okay. Tia. Yes, I will move. Okay. Oh, Same tell word. us why. Same Same <laughs> I had my experience with uh, having that moment, that transition to move. It was set to once you get done with school, come to LA, apply to this college, and we start life there. I do have to prepare myself for the good and the bad because as, as they will say, strong woman, I'm gonna work on that because I don't wanna keep saying that. So that's just the way any village will, you know, basically prepare you for, prepare you for the good and the bad. But to stay focused on topic, um, unfortunately he passed away. So I didn't move to LA. So now mm. I'm, I'm dating in the popular uh, state is Texas, Atlanta, um, LA still to go out and date. I don't want to go for just for that. I want to go for me because the same baggage that you have in your state will be the same baggage that you take there. 
So I want, if I'm ever going to go to those states, it has to be for good reasoning. Um, and then that man will come to me. Lately, you know, here in the Carolinas, they've been trying to talk to me because I decided to look at myself and fix some things about myself and they see me and I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, I still will move if it's in a good position for the both of us, not just for that man to, to, to take the whole load, but in adult life and the responsible life. Yeah. Let's, let's go for it. Okay. 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 I guess the perspective that, um, but well, I guess what I was trying to say is would you move if you didn't have someone, right? So let's say like you were single, no one, you know, no potential, no mate, no nothing. You're dating, dating, dating. No good results. Would you move to find another man in another city? Move for better opportunities for every opportunity that's out there. I don't want to just go for a guy. That's just stupid. I don't want to go for that. What other, what, other, what other opportunity? Okay, the question would be this then. I want to ask you, Tia. Do you want to be a stay-at-home wife? Do you want to work? What's what's your what's your results? I want to do you're both. For? I want to do both. <laughs> I like to work. Help me understand. Both. So you like to work, but do you want to work for yourself? Is what you're saying, and then probably possibly have a husband, a man, take care of you. If I have a man that take care of me and put me in that position to be entrepreneur and self employed, I will take that. That's just something in me that I just enjoy working, but also, you know, if, if it's, if it's dealt, if those cards is being dealt out to me, I'll take it. So I'm, I'm willing to work with my partner. I'm willing to, my partner say, you ain't got to do nothing no more. Just do you. I'll still find work because it's just embedded in me. So. Okay. Soft okay. like me, please. <laughs> okay. Soft well, like Terry, me. You don't want to move. You don't want to move nowhere. So I <laughs> No, 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 no. I said, I said, if I said, if God, that's what I said, you know, so if I got a man who has potential, we talking about marriage, we not just talking about, you know, smacking cheeks, you see what I'm saying? Um, um, and then you give, basically give me, show me what you working with, give me something to pray for. Lord, is this the man that you have given thee? Give me something to pray for. And then mm. we can talk about, okay, me moving and stuff like that. But yes, I want the soft life. I would love that. And as well as, so we, we a lot of times we talk about how black women are strong. And I'm not necessarily saying we on this panel, but it's being said that we're strong. And, you know, we just want to do this whole, like, matching energy. And, you know, you a dude. And I, I can take my own weight and all this other. But at the same time, it's like, you as a man, as the other person in whatever this is, that this dynamic, what are you showing me that I can, you know, that I can say, okay, hey, you got this. You can actually help me with this whole list of laundry list of things that I can do because you're capable. You're equipped. You actually want to do so. So it's not, I, I hate it when guys are like, well, you, you trying to be so strong and, you know, basically they're threatened by our strength. But at the same time, it's like, but can you help me with this load that I got over here? All the stuff that I have to do every single day. Are you able to contribute you, to that? Why do, why, do you think men are, why do you think men are threatened by your strength? You know, that's a great question. That's a great question. I mean, sometimes I go back and forth in my head like, OK, well, am I too strong? You know what I'm saying? Is it like, you know, my energy is real aggressive and it matches a guy? I, I don't know what it is per se, but at the same time, I would love someone to not be afraid of my strength. I mean, hey, I I, I want to I want to dumb down a little bit. I want to feel comfortable in you and knowing that you got me, you got us and that you're leading me. But Am I following someone who is actually a great leader, or you just talking? So, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you understand uh, not the men that you don't want, but I'm gonna help you understand that the men that you do want, the men that you do want, are not normally threatened by your strength. Mm -hmm. We might be turned off by your strength, 
right? Okay. So that might be the reason why a man might not want to be with you. And it's because you're you're coming across to that man as masculine, right? So a man might turn around and say, that strength is not attractive. I want, as we said before, a feminine, docile, soft woman. And if you're not that, then it's a turnoff for most men. Not all. Some men, I'm not going to say all men, some men are intimidated by women, right? But those are usually not the men that you want. But a strong, well-to-do man that built himself up, care about you being a strong woman. Now, nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? But what I want is something different. So I would say put that in consideration to when you look at how men might look at you, not just men, the men that you want. Mm-hmm. Right? Got it. And, 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 moving, and moving around in a relationship or a marriage is a good thing, right? And um, I'm going to let Jess get this because I, I, I did. I know we have the two married women on the panel, but I do want Jess to get this. But, uh, as a matter of fact, let me shut up. Jess, you there? Is she muted? Oh, no. Nah. So I guess I'll, I'm, I'm going to say it until she comes back. Um, moving around is a good thing. And why I say moving around is a great thing for women, it's not, it doesn't mean you're moving around and you're sleeping with a bunch of men. No. You're dating. You're trying to find out what's going on. But in your city where you currently are, you know, you don't have leverage. The problem is, in, in, in real time, a lot of um, women, you don't have an option in marriage. The man has to propose to you. So unless you're looking to get on your knee and propose to a man, you got to, in a way, almost show a man like, hey, I'm a wife. And this is why we go back to the Bible again, right? He who finds a wife finds a good thing. So in order for you to be that, right, sometimes you have to get in a man's face like, hey, look at me. A lot of women don't want to be deemed as pick these, right? But in reality, we got to kind of say, I'm here. I'm not in my house. I'm not in my room. I'm willing to, to do what I need to do to find the man that I want. Because at the end of the day, there's more women in the world than men. So if, there's, if, if we know that the, it's just imbalanced, men have options. The men that you want have options. That good man, that well strapped a man, he's bringing a lot to the table. He has a lot of options because there's other women in other races and everything, not just y'all, that's fighting to be with that same exact man. My advice would be to, if you have to get up and pack up something to go be around that man, why not? But um, Jess, you there? Jess is taking a cigarette break. Go. She says she'll be back. Oh, okay, okay. My bad, my bad, Jess. I'm just playing with you. All right. So, um, so the married women on the panel. I'm gonna start with you, wife. How do you feel about advising women that are single to move? I feel like it's not such a far-fetched thing because most of the time um, women marry their college sweetheart. So most of the time when you're in college, it's not really in state. You said most of the time women marry their college sweetheart? Most of the time women do marry the man that they met in college. That's not most women. Of the time, we're not. We're not. We're not talking about black women. We're talking about women in general. Most of the okay. time, women marry the man that they met in college. So that's not usually in their city or in their community. It's usually, even if it's the state college, it could be out of state, but it's not your city. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I do think moving is not a a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? It could be different opportunities for different reasons, whether it's it, it, whether it's an educational reason, career-wise, whatever. But I think a change of scenery is always good, um, in my opinion. I think it's not something to look down upon because, again, 
if you're saying to yourself, okay, well, when I go to college, I'm not going to go to my community college. I'm going to go to the state college or I'm going to go out of state. And then you end up finding you're forever there. What, why does, why is it different to say, oh, okay, I'm going to college and I found my husband as opposed to, okay, I move into a different city or a different state because I just want to change the scenery or a job or, you know what I'm saying? I've always wanted to just go to this, this state or city for whatever reason. So I think putting so many um, disclaimers on it as to why you need to go and saying, well, I don't want to go for a man. Um, I think that's, that's more of an ego thing. I think that's more of like just feeling like, well, I'm going to look silly if I do that for a man, as opposed to you could just, you could just end up meeting someone different. You know what I'm saying? Um, And I think that could be a good thing. So really and truly, like, I feel like it's so um, serendipitous that we met, just put myself into it because in my mind, because the community that we are both from or the, the town that we're both from, um, I looked at it like, this is a small town. I got to get out of here. There's no way I can stay here. Like, I, I need to see all the things and be around all the people. So to me, I never foresaw seeing myself with someone that was from my town. So, I mean, that again, that could be a once in a lifetime thing for some people praise God, you know, for ours, our, our story, but that's not for everyone. Sometimes who, the people that you're around, that town that you're in, that town that you grew up in is literally this little bubble and you need to break out that bubble. You need to go. You need to figure something else out and get on the, the, the Greyhound, get on the Amtrak and, and, and just go. You got a super chat. <laughs> okay, right, Matthew. Got- I forgot. I, I forgot. I, I, go I, ahead. Go ahead. Back. I'm going to get this one on home. <laughs> oh, my God. What up, man? Okay. We got <laughs> a dollar super chat from my guy, Matt. What's good? All right. Yo, Women really got- need to know what strength is and what they claim. If they get the if they get the family they want, they will soon find out building a family takes a lot of work. For your information, no breaks. Be careful what you claim. Claim what you claim. Ain't no break. Don't break. Nah, nah. That's real talk. What's good, my guy? We got intellect ignited. Everybody, do me a favor and go and subscribe to Intellect Ignited. It's Boombox and her husband's channel. Yeah. Fire over there. Go over there and subscribe. So, Boombox, talk Mm -hmm. to us. Tell us how you feel about advising women to possibly move for the man that they want or to find the man that they want. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's a big world out there. There's no need to um, stay where you're at. I actually had moved to Baltimore um, when I was younger. I moved to Baltimore and I was, I it was just on a whim too. Just like I'm getting out of Charlotte. And um, putting in job applications. Then I got a phone call that my grandfather had passed. So I came back home and I didn't move away again. But, you know. See what your husband said? You better answer this one right. Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) But, but yeah, you know, there is nothing wrong with taking that risk. I mean, what what can you do besides be resilient and succeed? It, it definitely eliminated a lot of distractions too, leaving home. So go for it. You only got one life to live. Like why why put yourself in in in, in a space where you just you just stay in a bubble, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's good to to branch out, you know, like why not? What, what's well, holding do you that? Every time, like, is there a certain amount of time you wait? Like, say I'm gonna stay in Atlanta for five years, and then I'm gonna go up to New York for five years. Like, when do we stop moving for like with the whole? No, stuff? no, pick a place. St- you know, do your research before you just go, because I mean, some of these places, you know, are definitely not uh, livable. 
you know, and then especially if you if you taking children with you, you know, you definitely want to check out the school system, do your research for sure. And and in these places, I would always say usually you you always usually see because there's so much unintentional women today to find men that the intentional women actually find men. It's crazy. Believe it or not, when a woman is really setting herself up in the right way and she's doing the right thing, she keeps herself around the right group of people, she usually ends up, even if she goes to five weddings, she ends up becoming married. The problem is a lot of women think that they're setting themselves up in the right way when they're really not, right? They're really doing the opposite of what men want because they don't have men leading them and telling them, hey, this is what men really care, for, care about. So sometimes your attitude can get in your way. The way you move will get in the way. Your Instagram might get in your way. Your, the stuff you're posting, all of that stuff might get in your way. You know what I'm saying? We got another ah, got super chat for my guy Leon B1 in the building. What is good? What is good? All right, boom, bye. Moved on a whim. All shucks. Now I need to talk to Link ASAP. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta talk to Link. Yeah, oh, well, Link, Link wasn't in the picture then, so. So there you go. Yeah. Right. I was and again, young, I think that's and you know that's when you're younger. That's the best time to, because you you know you're more of a risk taker when you're younger. So right. definitely. Um, but I think that it's just a good, take a take mm -hmm. a risk because again, I, I'm I'm just speaking just off of my own ideology is just you really only have one life to live. And if you can take the opportunity to move to somewhere else, to have a different, you know, culture, culture environment, like why not? You know what I mean? If there's nothing really holding you back, go for it. If you, if you have the means, if you have um, everything is just panning out as far as financials are concerned, just do it. And I think when it comes to romance, That'll come. You'll definitely meet people as long as you're not in your house. I think it was a great point that um that GMT made concerning women being intentional. Like you can't be like, oh, I, I'm not going out on dates, but you always in your house, you know, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Like, girl, I'm gonna need you to come outside. Like, I need you to go do something. I need you to go meet the people because otherwise, what are you doing? You, you think he's mm -hmm. going to come knock on your door and be like, hey, I got a pizza. Like, I got your Chinese food. Like, no. Like, you really need to make some moves so you can possibly meet that person. So if you have that mindset, whether you're in your regular town, wherever you grew up or, you know, where you've been stationary for some time and you have that mindset, oh, oh, whatever's for me is going to find me. Girl, if you in your house all the time, it ain't going to find you. Sorry, unless it's, it's DoorDash and Uber Eats. So I'm going to need you to go outside. I need you to go outside. Yeah. I need you to put your put your heels on, put a nice dress on, fix your face, do your yeah, hair, too. and, you know, figure it out. Like, you know, relocating doesn't have to be you relocating because you want to find a guy right then and there or you, you're relocating to find a guy. Like, relocate to do the self-work to get yourself aligned with the guy that you you know want mm -hmm. you know so sometimes that's all all it's about that sometimes that's all you need and then yeah he might move there and you you know find him a week later or whatever you know you just never know how it plays out but you definitely don't just move to to find the guy move right to do the Not work for yourself <laughs> The video made it seem like it was the the whole purpose of the move was to go find a guy because the dating pool where she was at was horrible. Yeah. I get moving to go like expand your horizon. Like I'm with that all day, every day, but not with the video was on. I was I'm not I can't do that. I think well, when she mentioned it, it was concerning an investment. Is that like a deterrent or is it an investment? And um some of what we talked about was making it sound like it could be a deterrent instead of an investment. Because if you do move, it can be an investment in every aspect, <laughs> including 
romantic. So you could meet your forever if you just branch out. It's the fact that you just making a move and figuring out and see how it goes as opposed to, oh, I don't want to. And, you know, I haven't met anybody where I'm at now. So who's to say I'm going to meet somebody where if I move, you got to try right. it, you know, right. don't limit yourself. And then, you know, like, you know, how a lot of people say with yeah. um, the dating pool. Well, mm-hmm. you got to keep in mind that that's the dating pool in your, you know, vicinity of what you're, you know, selecting. So sometimes just even that uh, is something to look at. Right, right, right. I mean, listen, and I, I'm with y'all, right? I'm with y'all with the move. Right? I truly believe that, you know, you place yourself. You don't have to necessarily be for a man. Because, I mean, like we did say, if you think you're being intentional, but you're really not, or you're not moving in the way of the man that you want once, you could be doing all that moving and get no results. So right. it's good to actually say, I, I'm moving intentionally um, to find a man. But I would say, like Boombox said, learn where you're going. Learn the dating scene to where you're going to move to. Because there's a lot of cities where it's just, you could call it what it is, people are playing games, right? People are just looking for sex, that's it. Nothing serious.